And I gotta say, your band name has to be one of the funny, funnier of the band names I've uh, come across before. Has yeah? Has anybody ever called you out on it before yet? Um, in what way? Just for copying anything like God, uh, Bruce Willis's name, oh. or anything like that. Yeah. No, not yet. I think that's maybe one of our goals. <laughs> yeah, I always... once we uh, once we officially get on the radar, you know, I think that's one of those things we always thought would be funny. Is like, well, what do we do when that happens? But something to work towards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I always wondered how you'd be able to pull it off. Same with uh, Dwayne Gretzky, how they can get away with it all the time. Yeah. Yeah, kind of put you guys kind of in the same column. Like, how the hell did they pull it off? Yeah, exactly. I don't know if it's just just enough that, or yeah, I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> Definitely not anything we looked into, you know, technically before making the decision. It was just kind of happened and you know rolling with it. And it's probably cheaper not to know either. <laughs> yeah, at this point, well, <laughs> fingers crossed. Yeah. All right, so like uh, your new uh, vinyl was just released. The party's over. How excited are you yeah. to have that out? Uh, definitely, like really stoked. Um, probably, you know, just a lot of work and time has gone into it to get it to this point, and like to do something for, on vinyl, I think is definitely a goal of the three of us. And now, like to do it, it's kind of kind of a little bit more official than you know a digital release or like even a CD. You know, it's just like it just feels a little bit more real. It feels like a bit more of a, an accomplishment, but it was also like, we we're only going to do it if we were really happy with the album and if the whole process um, worked out the way that we wanted it to. And I think, you know, all that happened, which we were all pretty excited about. And it's now it's like stoked to just have something physical that like, you know, we're all proud of. Nice. Especially with the Acosts with vinyl, too. Did you ever foresee guys originally having vinyl? Or were you just considering always just releasing our CDs? Um, it was definitely, like, something that we wanted to do that we didn't know, you know, a whole lot about. And it, it just seems like one of those formats that are, like, so out of reach. But I think, you know, as other formats die, you know, um, CDs and... It, it kind of opens up and it, it creates a more of a demand uh, for something like vinyl and the whole experience with working with uh, Samo Media, which here a Toronto company, they're doing the vinyl with us and they work with a lot of like Canadian artists and Canadian labels. Um, re- it was really just a, a an educational, you know, whole process where they like, they like to get you involved and like teach you about how vinyl's made and they clear up like, a lot of the myths or the like urban legends or like, you know, just these things where you think it's like such a, a medium, like a format that's out of your reach. And it totally wasn't, it wasn't like as expensive as we thought. And it's like, uh, it was really just like, it was a unique and like really cool process overall. Yeah. Like the uh, formats always boggle my mind how it was uh, done, especially considering it's just vinyl with grooves out of it and how it can make the sound it's always amazed me yeah it, it was it was crazy like to get the first test pressings and like you know they send you i think it was four four copies that we had to like you know listen to every every second both sides multiple times because these are your you know these are your masters that you know everything's going to be to be based off of and just to like you know just learning that experience and like how it really is a molding process like they punch these out of a physical you know master mold and it's not you know it's just like a completely different process that like was really foreign to us but then you know now it's just kind of like yeah i'd love to do vinyl again like it just seems like you have to do it you know once you do it once kind of thing now you also have uh, some pretty sweet uh, CMW showcases to uh, even further press on your uh, vinyl. For sure. Yeah, super stoked on... Uh, I think CMW, we've always, like... You know, we've sort of lucked out and always got, like, a you know a handful of showcases that have been, you know, each had their own benefits. You know, the real late night, close the party down or keep it going kind of slots. And I think it's sort of built up to this point where... Now, you know, this, the two showcases we're playing this year, 
one being an opening slot and one being, uh, you know, at 1 a.m. It could be keep the party going or, or shut it de- shut it down depending on on what your uh, your next day is like work wise or you know whatever. But they're both with great bands that we were fans of. You know, the King Tough Show. Been to seen seen them so many times. Um, and then together, Pangea has a has a unique story to it as well. Um, the uh, who we worked with on all the recordings in LA, he um, produces and records together Pangea in in LA, and that's how we kind of stumbled upon him was through through their music. So to come full circle now that the album's done and to be playing a showcase with them, it's like it's definitely a pretty cool like. It just really like, feels right, you know. Oh, nice, nice. It's amazing when it actually comes full circle like that too. You, just, you always dream of it happening, and it's fairly seldom that it actually does happen. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for that night at, at Silver Dollar. You know, both shows are going to be amazing. Yeah. Um, but it's going to be it's going to be nice to catch up with those guys and kind of you know we have some common threads between us on who we've worked with. So I'm sure there's some stories and there's some overlap from the studios that we've both worked in in LA and I'm excited to kind of, you know, talk to them about their experiences and share ours and, uh, you know, kind of some of the stories that go along with it. That's, that's also part of the curse of the CMWs too, is when can you shut her down or even finding the time to make it out too. It's exactly. It's such those, a jam packed week. Those 4am last calls are either, you know, a curse or a blessing depending on, you know, they're a, they're a blessing night of to keep it going and they're a curse the next day. But uh, I think if, if you find a balance and if you, uh, you know, play it smart with, you know, the strategically placed meals and, and everything else that you'll come out on top. Now, uh, are you planning on staying out pretty late for any of the shows? Are you stoked about a certain show that you're not playing at? Um, stoked to check out a lot of stuff like i think we're going to be bouncing around sort of before some of our shows and after um opening weekend was amazing we saw we saw um fiddler on both of their shows and that's another band that we you know are huge fans of we've seen them a handful of times so it was awesome to kind of kick the cmw weekend off and go hard the first weekend when we weren't playing and see you know see those guys twice and then you know this weekend's going to be a little different because we're playing but definitely still uh still excited to get out there and like even just catching the two shows that we're at there's a there's a bunch of bunch of stuff happening and a bunch of friends bands that are playing as well that we're pretty stoked to see um some other stuff at silver dollar (coughs) sorry i'm coming down with a cold so i'm trying to actually actually get over this in time for uh you know the next couple days i'm just like cold effects and cough medicine and vitamins and lots of water and trying to just say, you know, get my throat a little better before, before Thursday. But yeah, just excuse the coughs. Oh, no worries, man. I work in a dust filled environment. I'm stuffed right up. <laughs> yeah, I can relate to that. <laughs> so uh, now are you able to take in any of the conferences and uh, put it towards your uh, music at all? Or do you just kind of let that part of the festival slide? Um, it's something that is definitely, you know, it's super cool. I, I like that it all, it all goes on. Um, you know, unfortunately with having, having a nine to five job, it's like, it's a little, it's a little hard to get in all those parts of the festival, but, um, you know, I, I, I it, it'd be nice to see some of that stuff, you know, in the after 5 PM slots or, you know, some artist specific ones on the weekends or, or different things like that. And I think, yeah, you know, I think there's a lot of value, and I think there's a lot of bands that that come into the city during for a festival like this. You know, it's got a similar vibe to like a South by Southwest, where it can be a destination, especially for young young bands wanting to learn a lot. And it's like you can jump in there and get super engaged. And you know, that's that's one of the great parts of a festival like this. Um, personally, I'm not going to make it out to a lot of that side this year, but. Um, definitely think it's pretty cool all those other sides of the of the festival yeah i'm pretty much in the same boat as you i just can't get time off work i tried mm-hmm. to push for work to get in toronto but it just wasn't gonna happen this week 
Yeah. So uh, where Not can here, yeah. people uh, pick up your uh, brand new album? Um, we're still working out that side for the vinyl. I think the best bet for the most immediate is just to hit us up online and you know, drop us an email. Hit us up on our website or any of our social media, and we'll figure out a way to get it to you. Um, we're going to be doing some like some contesting and like some giveaways and stuff. Um, we're uh, we're working on some cool little things with our friends over at Vans and trying to you know get something going where we give away some copies that way. And so I think for now it's just like stay in the loop with what we got going on, and you'll figure it out. Um, the digital side is you know if you want to get a a first listen or anything like that is stuff's up on iTunes. Um, there's downloads on our on our website. But we really want to get this vinyl out to people, and I think the best way until we figure out, you know, a more official route is just to hit us up, and we'll we'll be uh, taking care of doing some mailers out to people and throwing some fun things in there, you know, some stickers and some other like cool little things that you know to make each package unique. So a yeah, whole bunch of broken keep... guitar strings. Anvil seems to be pretty big on that one. Sorry. Anvil always seems to be pretty big on the yeah. uh, strings. I've noticed at their shows. Yeah. Yeah, that's always sweet. I love the little personal things. You know, we we always like writing notes to people or like including little, you know, doodles or or some stuff that's limited edition, you know, some stickers or some patches or different things like that. So um, any excuse we can to mail something out to people, we kind of jump all over it. I, I always get stoked sending out, you know, real mail. I get stoked when people send me mail. So it's like I kind of, you know, like to like to do that back for other people and it's, if it's not a bill showing up at your door, but something you're actually excited to get, and like, you know, it's always a cool, cool experience as well. Yeah, I always get excited when I see the brown envelope that I know it's a CD in the yeah. mail. <coughs> Definitely. Yeah. All right, so uh, bruiswillis.com is the best spot then, and you can pretty much yeah, I think from up there. Okay, cool. I think from there you can kind of get to, you know, like I said, all of our social media channel. Um, there's a contact section on there, and that's kind of our home base is is the dot com um we actually just launched dot wtf as our other as our other uh handle on there so bruce willis dot wtf or dot com they both work but wtf is a fun one so oh shit i've never even heard of that one before <laughs> some of the new wacky ones you can get it's, it's uh it's you know it's, it's not as limiting as it once was so i always thought the dot porn one would be a good one to add yeah i think maybe that would bring us a little bit more attention on uh on that potential lawsuit if, yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> that is true <laughs> all right man well uh thanks so much yeah man thank you it's awesome talking to you and uh um if you make it out to either of our shows thursday at silver or at least palace or friday at silver dollar like come find us at our merch table it'd be great to uh put a face to to the name yeah i'm kind of screwed i'm saturday only it's the only day okay i could uh make up all righty well another time okay but definitely yep. definitely appreciate definitely appreciate it yeah sure okay thanks. <clears throat> thanks so much again sweet thanks man